get the news, we're facts and straight. We're the most reliable information are given. Bye, you hug! Genetic modification is the other term for genetic engineering. Now, what is genetic engineering? Genetic engineering refers to the direct manipulation of DNA to alter an organism's characteristics phenotype in a particular way. It may also mean extracting DNA from another organism's genome and combining it with the DNA of that individual. Genetic engineering is used by scientists to enhance or modify the characteristics of an individual organism. So how does genetic engineering work? To help explain the process of genetic engineering, we have taken the example of insulin, a protein that helps regulate the sugar levels in our blood. Normally, insulin is produced in the pancreas, but in people with type 1 diabetes, there is a problem with insulin production. Genetic engineering has been used to produce a type of insulin, very similar to our own from yeast and bacteria like E. coli. Recombinant DNA is the general name for taking a piece of one DNA and combining it with another strand of DNA. Thus, the name recombinant, recombinant DNA is also sometimes referred to as chimera. By combining two or more different strands of DNA, scientists are able to create a new strand of DNA. The most common recombinant process involves combining the DNA of two different organisms. How is recombinant DNA made? There are three different methods by which recombinant DNA is made. They are transformation, phage introduction, and non-bacterial transformation. So, we will be talking about non-bacterial transformation. Genetic transformation is the introduction of genetic material into an organism, either by natural or synthetic means. If the whole cell is non-bacterial, it can also take up foreign DNA, but this must cross two cellular membranes in order to make it to the cell nucleus, where they can be expressed. This process is called transfection. Even though it is fundamentally the same thing as above, that is, putting foreign DNA into a cell, maybe they give it to another name to confuse students. It is also possible to introduce DNA into a eukaryotic cell nucleus with the hope that it may integrate stably and therefore irritably. This is the process that is traditionally underlies the creation of transgenic mice. This process is similar to transformation. The only difference between the two is that non-bacterial transformation does not use bacteria such as E. coli as the host. In microinjection, the DNA fragment is injected directly into the nucleus of the cell B or transformed. In biolistics, the host cell is bombarded with high-velocity microprojectile gun such as particles of gold or tungsten that have been coated with DNA. Why is our DNA important? Recombinant DNA has been gaining in importance over the last few years and recombinant DNA will only become more important in the 21st century as genetic diseases become more prevalent and agricultural area is reduced. Below are some of the areas where recombinant DNA will have an impact. Better crops, recombinant vaccines, prevention and cure of sickle cell anemia, prevention and cure of cystic fibrosis, production of protein factors, production of insulin. We just serve you the truth and the news, we're facts and straight, where the most reliable information are given. Bye, you hug!